Hello everyone. Today we have some news regarding the planned nationwide strike by organized labor in Nigeria. Stick around as we delve into the details of this significant development. Organized labor in Nigeria announced an indefinite strike to protest the nationwide hardship caused by the removal of petrol subsidy causing change on plans for many. They had directed affiliate member unions to mobilize and shut down the country. In response, the federal government invited labor leaders to a meeting to avert the strike. After negotiations, both parties signed a memorandum of understanding to temporarily suspend the strike for 30 days. So what's in the MOU? Let's break it down. Firstly, the government granted a wage award of 35,000 naira to all federal government workers starting from September. Additionally, the government agreed to suspend the collection of value-added tax on diesel for six months starting in October. They also committed to providing 100 billion naira for high capacity CNG buses for mass transit and initiating an auto gas conversion program. Welfare was a significant concern. The government pledged to pay 25,000 naira per month for three months to 15 million households, including vulnerable pensioners. They also promised to increase the distribution of subsidized fertilizers to farmers. What happens next? Well, it's not entirely over. Labor leaders emphasize that if the agreements aren't implemented, the strike issue could be revisited. The resolution of the ongoing leadership crisis in transportation unions is expected by or before October 13. Meanwhile, a coalition of civil society organizations advised labor unions not to suspend the strike until the fuel price hike and university school fee increases are reversed. That's the latest update on the organized labor strike in Nigeria. The situation remains fluid. I will be keeping a close eye on developments. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.